Hey gang, AV here. Welcome to my review of the G.I. Joe, I guess, Renegades? Um, Edwin Lifeline Steen, Rescue Trooper. Here he is in the packaging. As you can see, he is a blister carded figure with the vast majority of his awesome accessories visible there in the bubble. Um, some original art there on the left hand side. Flipping it over on the back, we get the cross cell with a couple of the other figures that were also available around the same time, as well as his file card, which we're gonna have a closer look at in a minute. Not to mention a full head to toe shot of that artwork from the front. Some legal stuff there at the bottom, and that's about it for the packaging. Let's have a look at the figure himself. Put this down here. All right. And there he is. First and foremost, we're going to have a quick look at his file card. If you wish to read it, feel free to pause the video and do so now. All right. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to say for a pacifist, he is very well armed. <laughs> um, all jokes aside, I mean, uh, if, if I was a medic heading into a, a, into a battlefield, I... I would want to have something to protect myself. I know that. But uh, anyway, uh, first and foremost, we're going to have a look at his uh, at his stretcher here. What's it called again? It's on the file card. It's uh, the trauma board. There you go. It has this uh, strap here so you can hold somebody in place. Um, actually, to help demonstrate this, I'm going to bring in this Marauder's figure I had handy. So you just lay a figure down there. Same as a regular G.I. Joe. And then you can strap them in like that. You could probably fit his arms in there too, but you know, you get the idea. He also has this mask with an oxygen tank attached. I don't believe that this comes undone in any way um and if you really force it you can fit it in his bag with the rest of the stuff however i'm too afraid of warping it or, or breaking it and it is a very very tight fit to to get everything in there it's actually kind of more trouble than it's worth so i try not to do it um but you can just use the mask simply by sliding it over the figure's head or actually you'd be better off Decapitating the guy. And then putting it on from underneath. And this is a good way to demonstrate too that it'll work with more than just G.I. Joe figures. As you can see, it fits on the head quite nice. Albeit a little loose, just came off as I was putting the head back on, but that's okay. Slide right back on there. There you go. Stick him back on his trauma board. There you go. Next up, he has his bag. which is very reminiscent to the original uh, medics bag that we got with the original figure. Um, it does not have the uh, clips on the other, like the original one did. This one just clips from the inside. So you just pry it open like this. And inside you have some awesome detail as well as a couple accessories. Um, have a look at the, at the detail first. Nice painted detail in there. All right, first and foremost, he has his uh, his shock paddles for his defibrillator. Um, not much detail on these. I'm actually gonna use my X-Acto so I can hold it up for you. I mean, not much detail in these. They're just paddles that he can hold in his hand. They're both identical. And as you saw, they fit perfectly via friction in here. 
there's two spots provided. Come on now. There you go. Um, next up, you saw the, uh, the IV uh, line there, but here's the IV bag, which fits in there via two clips on either side. The IV bag has a little hole up here that you can put the IV line in. It's kind of nice. I kind of like the... Uh, the fact that they put some added detail in there. It's pretty cool. Um, it also, which is also really neat, has a little clip here on the end, so you can actually clip it to the figure's arm. And this, you can actually have the figure hold up like that, or it has this peg here, which enables you to peg it into the board's headrest. So that's pretty awesome. I'm a big fan of that as well. Let's get him, his patient, out of the way. Have a look at Lifeline himself. Um, right off the bat, he has a figure stand. It says G.I. Joe, two foot pegs, says Lifeline there on the bottom, copyright 2007 Hasbro on the back. Um, he's got this big assault rifle, I believe, here. Some nice detail on that. He has his syringe gun here in his breast pocket. Pretty cool. And that fits loosely in there. I mean, of all the accessories he has, that's the one that you might lose. Um, anything could just knock that loose. So keep an eye out for that. Um, he has a sidearm here on his left-hand side. He has a knife here. <laughs> On his right boot, painted a uh, painted blade. Minimal detail on these last two accessories, but you know they included them, which is always good. And last but not least, he's got his helmet, which has always been kind of cool because it's kind of designed to emulate that uh, that badge there on his chest, as well as the uh, symbol there on his uh, medic bag. But, now that we've got all the accessories off of him, let's have a look at the figure himself. Nicely looking figure. I, I do like this. I would have liked if I could read the full word rescue there on his leg, but, you know, it is what it is. They did some really nice sculpted, molded detail on there. Good looking figure. Um, head is on a ball joint, can do a full 360 degree rotation. Can't really look up and down very much at all or really go side to side, unfortunately. Just not, not enough room there to work with. Um, arms will do a full 360 degrees. They go up about that high, which is awesome. Um, nothing there at the bicep. Elbows can flatten out, bend about 90 degrees and hyperextend a little bit. Um, they do a full 360 degree rotation there. Wrists, full 360 degree rotation there. Um, he also has the coveted wrist joint, enabling you to bend his hands down and up. I believe that's the same on both hands. Yes, down and up on both hands. He has a diaphragm joint, which enables a great range of motion there. And I like the way they molded the pockets so that they don't get in the way but they're also not a separate piece. They move with the whole torso, which is excellent. Um, legs can go up about this high. Back hardly at all. 
Um, you can do the splits about like this, not not too great. This leg especially is pretty thick on mine for some reason. Um, double jointed knees, kick his heels back all the way. Whoops, knocked his knee pad off. Just pegs right back on there. So be careful not to lose those. Ankles all the way around, 360 degrees. He point his toes down and point his toes up slightly. So very good articulation on this guy. He was he was released at the peak of the uh, G.I. Joe um, four inch line, in my opinion. And he was actually kind of tough to come by because everybody really loved his accessories. And he character himself has a great following as well. Um, Size comparison, here he is next to a vintage G.I. Joe figure, namely Snake Eyes. As you can see, he's noticeably taller. Same can be said for a vintage collection Luke Skywalker. Star Wars. Boss Fight Studio Blank is about four inches tall, and as you can see, uh, they measure up quite well. Um, since I've got him here... This is how he looks next to a Marauders figure. Captain America figure. Oh, come on, Cap. Be a team player there. All right. So, and last but not least, a Master Chief. So all in all, very cool figure. I'm, I was very happy when I added him to my collection. Um, he is quite cool, in my opinion. Cool accessories. Highly recommended if you find one at a reasonable price. Let me finish putting them back together here. Um, he came, like I said, I think, even though it doesn't say it on the card, I think he came out with the Retaliation, or I'm sorry, the, the Renegades line or right after it. I'm not sure what they refer to th this particular point in the line, whether it was the, the Renegades or the 30th anniversary, I'm not sure. Um, but he's definitely modeled after the, uh, modeled after the uh, cartoon and comic book lifeline that we all know and love. Obviously modeled after the original figure. Great figure, awesome accessories, excellent articulation. Nice paint apps, great articulation. He's, he's a winner all around. So highly recommended if you can find one at a reasonable price. Um, this has been AV. If you like this video, check out my channel where you'll find a whole bunch of other 118th scale content, not just GI Joe, but a bunch of other stuff as well. Figures, vehicles, accessories, you name it. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.